Hello, lovely Gemini. Welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today, and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers. It's been loads. Thanks so much, guys, for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Liggy wants to pop out here. Speak of the devil. <laughs> Divine masculine. Literally, just what I'm saying. Just showing up in his power. And when I say him, I mean like the masculine energy, you know, um, you could be, um, you know, a divine feminine who's a male and, and have a female divine masculine, or you both could be the same sex, whatever. But, you know, the masculine energy showing up, like taking a, a, a stance here, a, like decisive action. A decisive role in the connection. They are still, you know, they still could be a little bit guarded here. Um, the Emperor is wearing armour it's like for protection for the battles they've been through. They can be a little bit stubborn. But, you know, this person is really coming into their own, basically. Um, you know, the stubbornness could be why they're still holding back. A little bit, not coming forward, but they're they're going to. This is, you know, I'm just kind of drawn to his little. Uh, I don't really know what this is, but it's like a staff. <laughs> That's probably a proper word for it, but it's like just claiming. You know, I want to claim my feminine. Oh, I also forgot to say at the start, but I've been getting a lot of teary energy. And it's coming, you know, because I channel the masculines and things. It's uh, it's coming out like it, it makes me almost on the brink of tears quite often. And I, I don't, I don't feel like it's my energy at all. It, it you know, it's the masculines, and um, for a lot of them, while they're thinking about this connection, like I said. And starting to acknowledge it and, and let it into their heart. Like, I, I do feel a lot of them are, are crying at this point in time. But three of pentacles, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, oh, Aries for the emperor. Um, they are wanting to, like I said, work on this foundation with you. They're wanting to take a decisive role in this connection. They're wanting to work on things with you. They're wanting to work on this relationship and come back here and have it grounded, solid. You know, it's like starting on the foundation of the relationship. So starting at like the ground floor and working your way up. So having like a brand new start, just just starting all over again here and, and making it solid from the get go and building upwards. They want to come together with you. Um, some of you, you know, could actually work together currently or for some of you as well, you know, along with working on the relationship, it's like they want to work on some kind of project with you. Um, could be a work project, could be some kind of physical, um, you know, like, uh, like renovating something, you know, maybe you guys when you come back and move in together and, and renovate like a property, something like that. Um, cause I'm getting kind of quite a lot of property images and analogies in my head. Um, but yeah, this, this is someone who is a lot more stable than they were. The emperor is kind of like all, the kings combined, you know, encompassed. Um, so this is what we want to see, you know, the masculine in their emperor energy, you know. So this is really good to see so far. Yeah. The end of this, the end of this pain, the end of feeling like this, Ten of Swords, Air, Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So this is coming to an end, hence why they're now feeling in their Emperor energy. This is the end of this cycle. This is what they've they've moved out of. 
And like I said, with the emperor, um, he's always represented as wearing armor. So been through like a, a lot of battles. And this is shown here as well. You know, they've been through this 10 swords stabbing them in the back here. So an awful lot of pain here. Almost like they thought they couldn't get up again, but they have, and they've come into the emperor power, not just a king, like emperor. Um, so yeah, moving out of this energy, moving out of this really tough time and feeling ready to work on you, um, to work on this with you. So they're kind of deciding at the moment what is the best way to come forward. Earth energy again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're wanting to move away <laughs> from these choppy waters that you've had. They know it's been like a long time coming and, you know, some of them have been away from you for a long time um, physically or just, you know, not speaking even. And so they're weighing up, how do I do this? What, what is the best course of action here? Um, mulling over, you know, it's literally leading on here from the two, two of pentacles to the three. Like, how, how do I sort this out? Like, what's the best plan of action here so I can come back and work with my feminine, so we can come back together? So this is what's been going through their mind. Um, you know, and this is the infinity symbol here too. So it's your unbreakable bond here. I know you've been through some really, really, really tough times, but it can never be broken. And here it's coming back to be fixed and repaired here, this connection. Oh, <laughs> Leaping out the Page of Cups. I've been seeing him quite a lot recently. Pisces energy could be Cancer and um, Scorpio as well, but it's a humble apology here coming in. It's it's wanting to make the peace with you. Um, it's quite an immature energy. The Page, you know, can be quite kind of childlike. I'm feeling today this person could be younger than you. I don't always get that, but I am kind of feeling that today. Um, but they're certainly quite um, um, feeling a little... What actually, what I'm feeling is they feel quite childlike. I think it's them coming forward to you. They feel like a child. They're so kind of like um, timid and... Um, because because they're ashamed of how they've been you know they're, they're really quite going to be coming to you as quite kind of childlike um but this is very sincere here and they want to bring a message to you you know they want to to speak to you about what went wrong what's happened in their life what what made them kind of dip out of this connection for a bit um, they're just planning on, with the Two of Pentacles, the best kind of words to say to you. I'm just seeing if I get anything else from these cards before we get some more. Um, yeah, actually, if you look at the water as well, it's really interesting because it is literally moving from these choppy waters to calm ones with you wanting to um maintain this or sorry restore this like harmony with you i'm not sure if we got that out in a reading recently i'm doing so many readings and so many i don't know if this was a private reading but i would i got that energy really strongly about them wanting to move forward and um, out of like conflict and things with you and have the peace here and have it like tranquil with you. So this is what they're, they're trying to do. That's, that's what's on their mind. 
Some of you, I'm just kidding, um, may have even apologised to them. You know, feminines are not perfect. You know, I'm a feminine myself, obviously. I'm including myself in that. We're not perfect either. And sometimes, you know, there's things we need to apologise for as well. Um, Three of Swords, kind of like almost in reverse there. I'm going to kind of, it was like that, but I'm going to take it in the reverse. Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, because... You know, this connection, there has been so much heartbreak here, as we can see from the Ten of Swords as well. But that's the end of the cycle. And that's what I was saying, moving out of that. So it's a completion of that cycle. And moving out of this heartbreak, they've been truly heartbroken over you and things not going right with you and not being with you and not speaking their truth and not coming forward sooner. You know, they just have been really heartbroken over it. Um, they've wanted to come forward earlier, but, you know, like I said, they can be a little bit stubborn, the Emperor. I'm not even getting that really with this. I, I, I don't think it was stubbornness. I think it was just fear. Um, just, just not being ready, not having enough courage. But, you know, we're moving out of this heartbreak, guys. So... I know how heartbroken a lot of my feminines are, but, you know, with this kind of apology and peace offering and heart-to-heart -heart conversations and kind of just talking again, little steps, you know, this heartbreak is going to be, you know, removed out of the situation. Another 10 here, another completion of this cycle. So 10 of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So it's releasing this burden. It's putting those wands down. It's letting go of that. So letting go of these <laughs> 10 Wands, taking those 10 of Swords out your back. You know, it's like the, the masculines are not trying to, like I said, start block this connection anymore. They, they, they just saw so many blocks and so many obstacles in their way before, but it's releasing that. We're coming out of that, it's putting those down. It's being able to move forward. And that really starts um, you know, really strongly feel that really starts with them just coming forward here. You know, it might be quite, um, when they do speak, because it is a page and, you know, a little bit, um, timid, um, you know, maybe not as bold as, you know, like a king here. It might just be a little kind of message they send at first, a little kind of like, hi, like, how are you? How have you been? Like, you know, just, just kind of testing the waters here. There's a lot of like water images and analogies I'm getting here. Um, some of you may live next to water. I'm getting like this masculine might actually like to spend a lot of time by the water. It really kind of calms them, soothes them, heals them. Whoa, what was this leaping out? Oh, wow, interesting, yeah. Another page here, definitely feel this person could be uh, younger than yourself, but like I said, quite childlike. Um, They've really kind of lost quite a lot of confidence, I feel, this person. Again, more messages, texts, calls. Like I said, could be quite kind of um, slow to begin with till they just kind of like test your reaction and, and gain more confidence. I really feel this person has lost an awful lot of confidence in themselves. 
can be quite a small offering here, but it is it is very sincere. Taurus Virgo Capricorn um, again, and that came out with the Knight of Pentacles. So there, like I said, there's going to be a progression, but it's going to be quite a slow progression here. It's the slowest moving night in the deck. So yeah, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy again. There's there's quite a lot of Earth energy here. So if you're not an Earth sign or dealing with an Earth sign. Um, it could just be that this person is very much um, more grounded and stable than they were in the past. He's slow moving, but you kind of want this person to be, It's you don't want them to be hasty like they probably were in the past. It's slow moving, but moving in the right way, if you know what I mean. Um, and again, like wanting to offer you something small here. A little suggestion it could just even be like you know are you free to to go for coffee um dinner something like that but i'm i'm liking the energy from it it feels like this person is very sincere with their actions i don't know very um I'm just getting the word loyal. I, I, f I feel like they've really started to recognise and really appreciate how loyal you've been. And that is what I'm getting, because I was getting this humble feeling before. I think that's really humbled them to see how you've been with them and that you are one of the few people that's always stuck by them. Um, let's get some romance angel guidance. Whoa, that just flipped over there. I'm not used to these for a while. Um, you deserve love. You are lovable. This divine masculine is realizing that because you know how we've been talking for a long time. It's a huge block in the collective. It really is. Um, it's such a a core wound for so many of the masculines is that they don't feel, you know, that they're good enough and that they deserve love. A lot of them just don't feel that they deserve love. They didn't grow up in an environment that was particularly lovable. They've been put down by a lot of people, people that really should have been there for them, people, you know, family members, um, but put down by other relationships they've been in, told they're kind of worthless, that they don't deserve love, that they'll never really find anyone who loves them for them, is what I'm hearing. But they're learning that they do actually deserve love. They are worthy of love. And this is why I really feel that the first card to show up here was the Emperor. It was this divine masculine energy realizing, you know what? No, I, I do deserve to be happy. I do deserve to be loved. And I want, like, I know and I want, like, my feminine, I know she's the one that I want this love with. Because let me tell you, with, without you, this is the energy, this Ten of Swords, that they have been in for a long time. And you might be thinking like, oh, I've just, you know, I've not been hearing from them for so long. They're probably not thinking about me. They're probably okay. They're probably just working or whatever. But really, they've been almost destroyed here. <clears throat> free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so they are freeing up their thoughts getting out of this um mindset that they didn't deserve love all these kind of like you know program programming that they've had in their mind for so long stuck in this kind of karmic circle here 
they're they're learning like to free themselves of thinking like that to to come out of that conditioning is the word I'm hearing. So they're freeing themselves, freeing themselves from this battle and sh being free to to stand into their emperor power. This is really, uh, really good to see. You know, I'm really getting this person is really getting stronger here. Way stronger than they've been in a long time. Divine masculine energy, realizing they deserve love and freeing themselves from whatever has kept them stuck and away from you before. I feel like there is something else I was going to say about that. Oh, yeah, you know, I was saying at the start that they have been thinking about you and this connection between you um, an awful lot recently, an awful lot. And that is what is making them come to these conclusions and realizations because they've been processing it in their mind so much recently. And like I said, not trying to block it out, not trying to avoid it, not trying um, to block out and avoid their feelings and things like that. They're allowing it to envelope their mind. And this is their, it's like an epiphany moment for these masculines, which is amazing to see. You know, with this Three of Swords as well, I'm just getting, it can be a third party situation. So I feel like a lot of them are coming out of that, freeing themselves of that, whatever it may be, a relationship, an addiction, a job that wasn't good for them, you know, anything like that. Um, They're taking the control back. They're taking the control back from you know, any kind of karmic person as well that was very controlling over them and fenced them in here, they're like, no, nah. It's time for me to move forward here with my Divine Feminine. I'm just going to get one more card. Romance Angel Guidance card. <clears throat> I was like, what is this poking out at the top here? I'm just going to take this. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And this is really what I got in yesterday's reading about the vows and commitment. And it was, you know, it was getting a strong marriage <laughs> um, feeling from that reading. And that many of them in, always envisioned you being in their future and being married to you at some point. And here we go with the engagement. <laughs> you know, it could even be what they want to offer you at some point. It doesn't have to be marriage, obviously. Um, it's just a you know higher um, level of commitment anyway. But it is realising that they want to come back and commit to you, which is, you know, such a, an amazing thing to see here. They don't want this um, juggling energy anymore. They, they, when they come back, they're going to be committed to you and only you. So next level, move up, whatever your connection is, however it resonates, you know. But for some of you, it could literally be engagements. Um, I, I feel like a lot of them would actually really like to live with you as well. Like that's the next level of your um, relationship is um, just moving in together. Like I said, you could even be renovating like a house at some point here. Just just fixing up like the place that you move into and decorating and things like that. Really get, getting that um, living together situation. It may take some time here. I'm not saying like this is going to happen next week, but because, you know, it's all kind of knights, um, pentacles energy here, knight of pentacles and things. Um, but I feel like that is the future they think about with you. Well, let's just get some twin flame cards to end this. Smokey's sleeping next to me if you're wondering where he is. <laughs> he's not here today, but well, he's not on camera today, but he's here. Um, it's absolutely miserable outside here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, I kind of shuffled that weird. I'm going to take the first card though, but. 
Yeah. Um, it's raining so much. I don't know, I'm just going to get it getting this miserable energy of that tin of swords. Like, I don't know, it's almost like the rain here. It's really heavy. It's like the tears of the masculine. Honestly, that's what I'm hearing. Like, it's so crazy. You still hold a piece of my heart. Exactly why they are wanting to move forward with you and ha and get this future with you coming together. You've always been in their heart. No matter who they have kind of tried to substitute you for and things or what they've tried to substitute you for. It's like you're... I don't know, they were, your heart was always here, you know, like, they were holding your heart still, you know. <laughs> you still take my breath away. You still do that for them. Could be... Months you've just known them, years even, but when they see you, even online, they're still like, oh my god, like, <laughs> you know, feel that flutter, you know, their heart races when they see you. <laughs> and in fact, yeah, I look at your picture often, so that's what they're doing, guys. Maybe any pictures you've sent them or or things they're looking at online, they do. They look you up a lot and it's like, oh my God, oh, my feminine looks so beautiful today. So handsome if you're male, um, you know, it, it really, it just gets their heart racing is what I'm hearing. That kind the the feeling I'm getting is, you know, when, you know, when like your masculine texts you or something you get all excited like to see the notification it's like that but when they look at your picture you've affected my life significantly so this is all to do with this realization about who you are to them and that they want you in their future they want to build a life with you they want to move things forward. They want to have engagements, marriages, living together. You Just whatever aspects of their life they think of, you are the person in it. And you've really, really changed this person from this juggler in and out, probably quite um, arrogant, selfish, sorry to say is the word I'm hearing, um, person to this humble page and this loyal knight here and this person who's in their divine masculine power. You've, you've helped, you've leveled this person up. So guys, I really hope this helps. 